Hey, welcome to the Original Brew Collective Podcast. We are here and we are on episode number 11. Episode 11. And if you are just tuning in with us, if this is your first time either watching or listening to our podcast, each week we review one beer. Um, Sometimes I guess that varies, but one beer from a different brewery. And then while we're drinking the beer, while we are reviewing it, we talk about a variety of topics that we call our brewery talk. Mm-hmm. And today, this is our this is my first beer from this brewery. Mine and, as well. Yeah, yeah. And so today we are reviewing Clouds Bro. Clouds Bro mm-hmm. by Alpha Acid Brewing. Yeah, yeah. In Belmont. Belmont. Belmont, yeah, Belmont. California. Mm-hmm. Um, founded in 2014 by Kyle Bozovec. Um, they premiered their beer in 2015 at SF uh, Beer Week, so mm-hmm. San Francisco Beer Week. And they specialize in IPAs, stouts, sours, and then barrel aged um, wild ales. Wild ales, yeah, yeah. barrel aged wild ales. Yeah, so we're really excited. Um, like Ben mentioned, this is actually a first for both of us. We've never had anything from Alpha Acid. We're pretty excited um, to see what they're about and uh, try Clouds Brow. So, without further ado, let's crack it let's open. Let's just do it, man. Let's crack it. So if you're listening with us and not currently watching on YouTube, once again, we're drinking Clouds Bro, which is a double IPA from Alpha Acid Brewing in Belmont, California, coming in at 8.8 ABV. Really simple can art. The font looks like it's a handwritten 3D font with a black and white photo of a skyscraper. All right, so now that we have the beer poured, I'm taking a look at it right off the bat. And once again, this is Clouds Bro, a double IPA from Alpha Acid. Um, the color on this, how would Ben, how would you describe the color on this one? Uh, to me, I mean, it's very, it's very murky. So it's, you can't, there's no, vis- you can't see through it. There's no visibility. Um, I would say color, I want to say like a pale orange, mm-hmm. pale like, orange, dark yellow ish. Almost like a dark pineapple juice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the head retention is awesome. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's a, yeah, there's some really nice head retention on this one. And you can see as the head has gone down, it's leaving that lacing on the glass, um, which is great to see. Uh, give it a little swirl, coats the glass a bit. Um, so yeah, overall, some really good signs so far. I will say I really like the color of this. Yeah. That's a very nice color. Yeah, it is. Let's see what we pick up on the nose. All right. Oh my goodness. I don't know why, but I wasn't expecting it to have such a... It's so tropical. Um, maybe a little bit of mango. I'm, I'm getting... I'm getting pineapple. Yeah, pineapple. And I, a I will say... A little bit of orange. I will say I have, I'm getting a slight, slight banana uh-huh. on it. I feel... I don't know if I'm quite getting that, but I could... I it's see pretty, where you're, that's coming from, to be honest. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why, like... I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm getting pineapple for sure. A lot of very, is, this smells very, very, yeah, tropical. Not, very he- not too heavy. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of orange, um, but not too heavy on the citrus. More sweet, um, yeah, pineapple. A little bit of mango. It smells so juicy. Let's uh, let's try it. Mm-hmm. This is a very good beer for our first beer from Alpha Acid. Mm-hmm. What do you... Okay. Mango. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you need a mango? I knew that's what you were about to ask. What am I getting on that? Mango. Well, I was just going to... I... It's... This one, and I've, I've said it before, but um, I am getting some bitterness on this one. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. But you... The, what What's ABV on this again? It's. I think it's 8.8. 8.8. Yeah, 8.8. I'm not getting like a burn or anything. But I'm yeah, not either. You, you do get, you get, I mean, it's double IPA. You're getting some bitterness. There's no, there's, for me, yeah, I'm not getting any burn on the back end. And the bitterness is right up front. Mm-hmm. So you, it kind of, right when you take that sip, it hits you like kind of mildly and then builds and then suppresses a bit. But even now I'm still getting some, after taking my second sip, sip. Mm-hmm. 
I have um, some bitterness left in my mouth. But there is also the sweetness, uh, the fruit notes mm -hmm. that are coming out. Um, what do you think that you're tasting on the palate? Um, the honestly, I'm getting... I feel like I, I can I can see where you're getting mango. I am getting like grapefruit as well. I'm tasting grapefruit. Okay. And yeah. Um, so very, very light carbonation on this one. Um, but yeah, like you said, there is right, right up front, there is like that tropical fruit note. So for me, it's mostly pineapple and grapefruit that I'm tasting. And then there's like that bitterness as well, but it is, oh man, it's really good. Yeah. Super I'd say juicy. Uh, for mouthfeel, I'm getting kind of a medium, medium heavy. Yeah, me too. The heavier side of medium um, on the mouthfeel on this one. Like if I, you can tell it's a double. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a good beer. This is a really good beer um, so far. Excited. I'm kind of hoping that uh, we start getting a little bit more tropical notes in this one. But right off the bat, this is this is a good beer. I'm kind of getting like piney too a little bit mm -hmm. as well. Kind of that pine taste to it. But yeah, there's a lot of flavors. It's good. It's really good. Hmm. Yeah, it's not as sweet as I would have expected right off, like from just what we were doing on the nose. Definitely. But yeah, it's not as sweet. Like Ben said, you know, you do get that bitterness um, right off the bat. Um, but yeah, it's not as sweet as I was thinking it would be, as I anticipated. I thought it was going to be very sweet. Me too. Based off the nose, but... Mm -hmm. um, doesn't I mean it's still really good though. It is a good pair. Yeah, I li I like the complex flavors. I like I like that it kind of doesn't match the nose. I think that's always interesting, you mm -hmm. know, because you don't yeah. really know it. You're like, oh my gosh, that's not what I was expecting, but it's still really good. Pleasant surprise. Yeah, sometimes. for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes it is nice though. Like you, what you smell the nose is so incredible, and you really do hope that mm -hmm. the beer that on the palate it matches that taste and the flavors. Mm -hmm. um, but in this case it doesn't, and it's not necessarily bad. This is like we said, this is a good beer. I'm not disappointed with this beer at all. No, um, not at this all. This is a very. I'm Super glad this good. is our first beer from Alpha Acid. Me this too. This is a good one. Yeah, yeah, and like this is one of the styles that they specialize in too, mm -hmm. and it's it says a lot about what they do because this is really good. Yeah. So it's a really good IPA. Mm -hmm. Um, so today, what do we have on the agenda for Brewery Talk? So Brewery Talk today, and Brewery Talk is just, we discuss a variety of topics. Mm -hmm. And so my wife, she kind of, she helped out with this one she did. for us. So she, she sent us both um, questions, and this is like movie trivia. So if you are listening, um, or you're watching, like, feel free to play along, because we might not know the answer, and we, we <laughs> might, probably and we might like speculate, answer. so you can like see how many you get right. Um, against us, but so she she sent us the questions. We we have it both on our phone, um, and then these are the answers right here. So we we don't we don't know the. Yeah, I was gonna say don't look. <laughs> I wasn't gonna look. So the the answers are all in order. So we just have to flip this up after the question is asked. So like, um, it was kind of nice. We didn't have to like really do any research on this. <laughs> it was just it just happened for us. Yeah, and that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so should we just. Should we go for it? Yeah. So I think what I, this is like movie trivia and I don't know, 2000s is I believe what you said, but just movie trivia. Let's just leave it at that. This yeah. Is, this is movie trivia. So how do you want to do this? Should we like go back and forth? Let's go back and forth. I'll ask you first. Okay. Um, okay. So like Ben said, she texted us. Uh, so if I don't know it and okay. Yeah. You asked me first. Yeah. Okay. So question number one. And like Ben mentioned, we have our phones out. We're going to be reading these. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know the questions in advance. We don't know. Obviously, we'll, we'll see if we know the answers. We don't know. We'll find out right now. Mm -hmm. um, and we haven't looked at the questions yet. No. I just pulled them up on my phone. Ben just did the same. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully we get them right. And we'll follow see. along. See if you know them. We'll see. Which 2012 Tim Burton movie features Johnny Depp as a vampire with the name of... Burn Barnabas Collins. What year is it? 2012. Okay. <laughs> was it the 2011 movie? No. <laughs> the same exact role, yeah. just a different movie? Um, okay, Vampire. I know this one. I've seen it. I absolutely don't. This is Dark Shadows. That's the movie. Okay. It's Dark Shadows. Let's find out. I hope it's Light Shadows or something opposite. If I can pick this up, then we'll know. If I ever. There we go. <laughs> Dark Shadows. Woo! Ben was right. All right. 
I, I got one. <laughs> you got so excited. <laughs> no, I'm excited because I did, like, a few episodes back, we did craft beer uh, yeah. trivia, and I got this zero, ben, right? This and is, this it was, it sucked. To redeem I, was, I was upset that I did so bad. But yeah. Oh, you know what? I'll let you keep this. Yes, let me it. keep it, dude. That's uh, awesome. your winning answer. All right, dude, I'm, I'm one for one. Okay, so I ask you the next one? Yeah. Okay. This one looks like it's multiple choice. Ooh. So. I like that. Rio, Rio was a movie about a macaw named Blue. In the movie, Blue met a suave cardinal who gave him dating advice. Which of these rappers voiced Pedro the cardinal? Is it A, Snoop Dogg, B, Ice Cube, C, Eminem, or D, Will I Am? And I you can, know what? I can For some time. reason, just based off of, like, I, I don't think I ever saw Rio. But I was expecting, <laughs> just based off of what I do know about Rio, I was expecting one of the options to be Pitbull. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know why. I, don't I know. feel like he, Pitbull, I don't know. That's I don't know what region, like, you know, where he's from. I don't know. Geographically. Um, but I, I thought it was going to be Pitbull. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so can you re- yeah, so reread S- him again? One Snoop Dogg. Right. Ice Cube. Eminem. Or Will I Am. Okay, I don't think it's Ice Cube or, uh, or Eminem. So I'm going to go with Will I Am. Okay. That's what I would have gone with too, by the way. You're right. Yes. Will I Am, dude. I was afraid to look like an idiot. (laughs) Because you don't know the name (laughs) of some random bird in Rio. (laughs) I think you would have been fine. Okay. (laughs) Question number three. So Ben's second question. Okay. I'm going to pick my phone up for this one. should probably be reading glasses. I don't wear reading glasses. Um, One of the more darkly comic films of the year comes from Norway. In order of disappearance. Feature. Oh, okay. I read that really weird. So I'm going to (laughs) restart. One of the more darkly comic films of the year comes from Norway. And this is the title. In order of disappearance features a father who embarks on a killing spree of gangsters to find who is responsible for his son's murder. Which actor plays the vengeful father? Um, so just cause it's Norway, I'm going to say, um, I, th- the Skarsgård, I'm going to say like, I think it, I don't know his first name. What's his name? Yeah. Um, Ale- Alexander Skarsgård, he's in the HBO, he's in True Blood and then Big Little Lies, but his dad is like, a, Oh, the guy, the guy, I don't want to give away Big Little Lies then. Yeah. <laughs> don't. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's. And his dad is an actor, and I pretty sh- I I think that they're Norwegian. So I'm gonna huh. s- I think it's Stellan Star- Skarsgård is okay. my guess. And you know what? I and really hope I'm right. My vote, and I hope everyone agrees. If it's ends with Skarsgård, Ben gets it. Okay. I've never even heard that name. What did you say the first name? I said Stellan Skarsgård. It is Stellan. Dude, Skarsgård. I am so pumped that I got I've that. I've never heard that name. That's in my legit. Life. And I watched. Big I've Little never Lies. heard of that movie. He was a good actor. I mean, in Big Little Lies. Well, it's his son is in Big Little Lies. Oh. So, Alexander Skarsgård. And, fun fact, he's also in... Uh, you've seen Zoolander? Yeah. So, he's one of the models at the beginning, that, and they have the gasoline fight with their orange motor. Which model? I don't know. He's just one of the models in it. But they have the gasoline fight. And he's like, yeah, the free gasoline fight accident. Free gasoline fight accident. Yeah, and he's one of them. Orange mocha frappuccino. Orange mocha frappuccino. Good movie. That is a really good movie. Um, but wow, dude, I'm pumped. I got that. I'm pumped for you. That's, <laughs> That's impressive. Awesome. I haven't. I've never I heard of I that. I do not get one that that is that hard. Okay, um, Shrek. This is the next question. This is fun. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, because you were two for two. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Shrek is a popular series, okay, as are the characters. In fact, in October of 2011, one of the characters got their own spinoff film. Which one? Oh, Puss in Boots. Yeah. I almost said the donkey. Just because. <laughs> cool, two for two. Man, this is a fun game. It is. Now it's fun. We're both two for I two. I know how it feels Come on, man. two for two. Okay. Ooh, Wes Anderson. This is a question about Wes Anderson. All I saw was Wes Anderson, so I don't know if it's hit on I like, the film. I like Wes Anderson. But I like Wes Anderson. Yeah, so do I. Wes Anderson has collaborated with Bill Murray on several movies. What number was the movie Grand Budapest <coughs> Hotel? Okay. If you have not seen Grand Budapest Hotel, it's a, I really like it. I would recommend it, so go watch it. Very it's good a, movie. Very good movie. Like, really interesting. Different. Any, anything by Wes Anderson, I really like. 
I've seen some that I wasn't like he wasn't I've never seen a bad one from him mm-hmm. like uh, I've seen uh, like one that I can think of that comes from under now I'm not gonna name it but so I was the, just like eh like it was it was good but it wasn't like yeah outstanding I was like ah I didn't wish I paid to see it in mm-hmm. theaters but um, most of his movies are really good I agree okay so the question is how um, many mo- like what number movie was, was that, that? The, so okay. Wes okay. Anderson has collaborated with Bill Murray on several movies okay. what number was the movie Grand Budapest Hotel and so I imagine okay. out of yeah, all yeah. the ones he's collaborated yeah yeah okay um, so that means he's collaborated with ones on since Grand Budapest Hotel okay so Grand Budapest question. Hotel is number one for like there's at least one yeah. and then I know he's in Moonrise Kingdom mm-hmm. so that's two He's in Life of the Aquatic. I think that's what it's called. I know it's like some right, submarine. Is, I never yeah. seen it, but I think that's it. Three. Shoot, I don't know Like if he's... Like what other ones there are. I, I'm going to say that he probably is a voice in Fantastic Mr. Fox. I'm not sure. He is. Okay. He is. Sweet. Well, you're, you're helping me out, dude. Nope. I'm not, not <laughs> sure. So I think that... And then there's... I'm going to say five. I'm going to say five. Number five? Oh, crap. I don't know. I want to say five or six. I'm going to go with five. Okay. Stick go with, with your gut. Stick with your gut. Yeah. Sorry, the seventh. Seven? Yeah. Really? Seven. I There's some that I don't know then. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. That's uh, hard. That was a hard question. I feel like it did all right. Oh, should I have tried to answer that? Oh, no, because I would have to know if you're wrong or right. Yeah, I mean. Hmm, that's okay. We'll just leave it over there. Yeah. This is one that we can get together. Yeah. But that was a hard question. That was very hard. You did really well. I thought. I thought... It was going to be five or six. Or I can't. I can't think of what other ones there would have been that he was in. I don't know. I couldn't tell you all of Wes Anderson's movies. And even though I got this wrong, this is still super fun. It's still a victory. <laughs> all right. Um, next question. Ooh, this seems hard. How many years did it take Christopher Nolan to write the screenplay for the movie Inception? Oh my gosh! I actually just rewatched this movie. It's such a good movie. And that is so in depth and detailed, and oh, that was such a good movie. I'm gonna go with your first answer of the last question. I'm gonna say five years. Okay. To write it, I mean that was uh, when we were talking like the script and yeah, that's the, like the scene, everything. I mean, I'll say five because that was such a phenomenal movie. And I don't know how long it takes people to write yeah. movies. No. I would guess maybe like three years for an average movie, and that was mm-hmm. super in depth, long, detailed movie. So five. Final answer? Five. Yep. Okay. We're, it was ten years. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Ten years. So double, double. That's crazy. Not. That's crazy. I mean, that is a really, really yeah, good Yeah, well movie. done, Christopher Nolan. Yeah. Hey, here's to you, Christopher Nolan. <laughs> here's was, to you. That was a really good movie. I quite enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was a really good cast in that. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Tom Hardy was Tom in Tom Hardy. Um... Cillian Murphy, who's in Peaky Blinders, was in it. Yeah, I really, Joseph Gordon really Love. I was gonna say Joseph Gordon. Oh, Park. dude, yeah, that uh, was such a good. Um, Juno. Mm. Ellen Page. Ellen Page was in it. Yeah, they had a they had a really good cast on that. Man, one. I will say too, I just took another sip it of this, and it's kind of losing its bitterness. It for is me. a little bit. Yeah, I'm glad you said wow. that. Wow. I was thinking it, but I didn't know if we were gonna keep going and or take a break. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just took a sip. No, and I just I, I'm glad you did. It. This is yeah. I mean, this is a good beer. Um, no question about it. Um, it is mm. losing its bitterness a little bit. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Sweetening up a little bit. Um, but De- yeah. Definitely getting, yeah, sweeter on it. I kind of was tasting like more mango and pineapple over the, like, the grapefruit. I mean, I'm me. still getting the mango. Yeah, I'm not getting, I could see in the beginning how you were getting a little bit of grapefruit, but I'm not getting so much grapefruit. I think some, for, I think sometimes for me, like grapefruit is a fruit that is very bitter to me when I actually eat it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I think that kind of skews it for me sometimes. So if I'm like smelling something that's super juicy and then like, I'm expecting it to be like fruity Mm -hmm. and it tastes bitter. I think I sometimes just automatically go to grapefruit. Huh? Like it, but it had, it had that aftertaste for me that grapefruit has as well. But yeah, I mean, grapefruit. Yeah. Um, definitely like it's like tart. Mm -hmm. Right. So I I can see where there's kind of a blending. Yeah. Um, Let's go to the next question. Yeah, let's do it. So, this is Ben's. And you are two for three, and yep. I am two for three yep. now. Yep. What historical disaster is the apocalyptic Earth scene in the movie Interstellar based off of? Oh, dang. Do you know it? Uh, no. Uh, I'm going to repeat this, though. 
What historical disaster? Oh, I have a guess. Is the apocalyptic Earth scene in the movie Interstellar based off of? So I don't remember. Very good movie. Oh gosh, I love that movie. Dude, so I good. Murph. <laughs> okay, Murph. <laughs> Dude, I love that movie. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was such a good movie. Um, <laughs> Dude, Matthew McConaughey in that movie was so good. Yeah, he's such a good actor. He's a really good actor. Okay, I'm gonna say. Because I actually don't remember... What, that was such a long movie. Yeah. And I saw it such quite a long time ago. So I don't remember. But for some reason, I want to say Pompeii. That's what I'm going to say. Just like a volcano erupting and... I'm, I like where your, your head's at. Yeah. Uh, n- absolutely not. The, are we sure these are in right order? The Dust Bowl. Great Depression. Wow, I'm so wrong. Yeah. I mean, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie too. Yeah. So I'm just kind of... That, I don't even like. What does that mean? I don't. I don't know either. It's I don't been know what so that long is. since I've seen it. I guess I don't know what the Dust Bowl is either. The Dust Bowl happened. Oh gosh, I didn't pay attention to history class. It Historical was, disaster. Yeah, it was thought, like over farmed. Um, that's and not, it, That's your correct pile. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. I was trying to give myself an extra point. I don't know. I don't want to get into the history of the Dust Bowl because I might miss. Yeah. Say things. I just thought. Pom- I was thinking Pompeii. <laughs> That's a historical disaster that happened. But I mean, there's a lot of historical disasters. I know. That was just the first one that came to mind. <laughs> okay. But right. there was a bunch of ash in Pompeii. There was a bunch of dust, possibly, oh, in this so one. so your answer made sense. Yeah, I don't know. Good for you. Yeah, it was just a guess. Oh, thanks. Um, nice guess. Next question. I like the confidence on that guess, though. I don't know. I was just going with my gut. Okay. What is the name of the fourth Pirates of the Caribbean movie that was released in 2011? Oh, my gosh. So it's it's actually oh, multiple choice. Oh, oh, oh unless okay. you know it. Unless no. you know it. No, give me the give me the okay. choice. I'm gonna take the choices. Now. Okay. Um A is Curse of the Black Pearl. B Dead Man's Chest. C at World's End. Or D on Stranger Tides. Oh shoot. Okay, I don't know it. I was actually thinking um like Dead Man's Chest or something like that, David Young's Locker. Uh, can you say that again? Yes. So, uh, the, the, the Curse of Black Pearl was the first one. And the Curse of the... Is it Black Pearl? Yeah, it's Curse yeah, of the Black that Pearl. That was the first one. Um, what were the other three you said? Dead Man's Chest, At World's End, On Stranger Tides. And this is the final movie in the series? The fourth. How many are there? I think there's five right now. Oh my gosh. I want to say five. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There. Yeah. I missed a... Uh, it's it, I okay so I think that it's got a, it's 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 one of those t- one of two that I have so it's not the chest one it's Stranger Tides or at World's End pretty confident about that what's your what's your final one Stranger Tides or the Tides one this is yours yes you got it right <laughs> good job dude thanks man <laughs> I actually knew that one. Oh, hey, good for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so you started. We started with you going, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so there isn't even a Yeah, question. this is right. This is okay. Even. Ooh. And if you watched episode, what movie did we talk, or what uh, episode? episode? Episode two or one? Episode one is when we talked about our favorite movies. Really? Okay, if you watched episode one, if you're that loyal. Um, Thank you. you. Know, this is this one of my favorite movies. Um Highly rated, really, by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm someone, sure it's Someone rated. said it was highly rated. That someone was me. <laughs> uh, uh, go watch episode one. I'm going to just go on the question. Is the movie La La Land... Oh, in... She missed... Okay, she... There was a typo in this. Oh, my gosh. So, in... She wrote is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I know. Jessica. <laughs> in the movie La La Land, what kind of car does the character Mia drive? Hmm. Wow, you really have to pay attention mm-hmm. to know that. Mia is... is she's the main character. Emma Stone? Yeah. Yeah. It's your, like one of your favorite movies, dude. Yeah, she's a babe. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I don't know. Is there like a, a certain like thing where it's like the car is a big deal I in it? A, if I remember correctly, I think it's kind of a clunker kind of thing. I don't or know. Like an older car. Like it's not like a nice, obviously. She's like broke in a movie. Well, this is what... Yeah. I'm going to say, though... Because it's L.A., right? La La Land, L.A. Yeah, it's in L.A. Well, the first scene, she's in her car. Yeah. I'm going to say it's a Prius. I think it's a Prius. Oh, really? I was thinking, for some reason, I was imagining an older car, but he... Uh, That's my guess. Like, what's, what's his name? Ryan Gosling. Um, his character might have had an older car. 
I don't know, dude. Right, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, because her family had money. You're right. She came from, and then I'm sure her parents let her have like either you use might, their you car. Might be, you might be right. I might be thinking just because like, like L.A., right California, there. like <coughs> I don't know. I'm gonna say Prius. You're right. Are you <laughs> serious, dude? Yes, <laughs> dude. That's legit. Oh man, I really hope I get the last one. Oh, <laughs> dude. I was like, how would know. you know this though? I don't know. Like. I was just kind of going off of like. I think California. I've seen the movie twice, and I I wouldn't have known. Dude, that. I thought it was oh, an older car. Maybe I was thinking of Gosling's character's car. Can you imagine if I would have guessed the Dust Bowl Great Depression? <laughs> That'd have been insane. Wow. All right. I'm very. I'm. I'm pleased. Okay. Oh, so oh, if this you is, get this, you win. Yeah. No. Yeah. You have. I have three. You have three. So if oh, you get this. great. So I'm not gonna lose no matter what. No, but That's we'll nice. do a tiebreaker. I'm fine with time. No, just kidding. No. Okay. <laughs> um, last question is, how many days did it take to f- film the movie? Oh, okay, there's no way on earth. Get out. This. I'm so glad that we're at least tying. Uh, gosh. You might guess it, though. Would they film in one day? Uh, <laughs> Get out? <laughs> Obviously, they didn't film in one day. No, no way. Um, how many days? I don't know how long it takes to film a movie. Well, okay, here's the thing. So I, my I wife's cousin works for Fox. I should call her. Mm-hmm. No, phone a friend. Phone a friend. I don't know if she. I wonder if she'd answer. I don't know. Should I call her? You could try. Everyone, <laughs> that was gonna be a first. I so if you've seen Get Out, while well, he's calling, you, yeah. Kathleen, that's a really good movie, and um, some people speculate. I hope she answers. Or I'm gonna look like a fool. That the final scene in the very popular music video. By Childish Gambino, the one um, "This Is America" was like an ode to "Get Out" at the end. Did you know that? Hey! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Wait, hold on. Sorry. Hey, can you, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, gosh, are you? Can you have a quick second? Yeah. Uh, so we're filming a podcast right now, and you're on yeah. it. Um, I, we're doing a trivia, and I have a question. Uh, okay. How many days? Did it? Did they? It, it, did it take for them to film the movie Get Out? Oh. And I have no idea how long it takes to film a movie, so I wanted to get someone who has experience their feedback. I feel like since you're asking, it must be either short or long. Like it must be an unusual amount of days. Okay. And I feel like since that movie had basically one location, it probably was. Let's see. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess forty-five days. That's like shorter than I would imagine. Okay. Okay. They film fast, huh? I mean, it depends on the film. If it's like Wonder Woman, <laughs> that could be like four months. Hmm. But in a film where you're only shooting in one location, like Get Out is in like you know one location up in probably like upstate New York That's or something. Great. They didn't need to go all over the world to do it. Yeah. Dang, that's way faster than I expected. I would guess like one or two months, between one to two months. Okay, and so, hold on. So, we're guessing in one to two months, so you're saying about 45, 45 days. Mm, cool. <laughs> hold on, let me think about it somewhere. I'm so glad I phoned a friend. <laughs> I mean, it could be, I can't imagine it'd be more than like 70. Okay. Like, I feel like I, I feel I, like around like fifty to sixty is pretty realistic. All right, I'm gonna stick with 50, 52. Okay, All that's right. a good one. That's a good number. All right, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. All right, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Fifty-two. You're gonna say fifty-two? <laughs> I, I guess. Based off. Of hey, you know what? Well, that's pretty. That was pretty cool. I mean, she knew. I told you. I mean, she works for Fox. I think. I know the answer. 23 days. Oh my gosh. I should let her know. She thought it was going to be one to, what'd she say, one to two months? Yeah, I mean, she said 50 to 60. Well, she said one to two months. Oh, yeah. And then I think she said that. And then uh, she said somewhere in there, probably. 23 they, days? She apparently knew they filmed in one location. So that's like essentially three weeks. Well, that's in like, like two really days. Really fast shooting. So I lost that question. Dude, but like 23 days to nail down lines like no, they, well they already memorized their lines in, in i know right? but like that's crazy it's impressive to like deliver it that well too because i mean that was a really really good really good movie that's impressive they filmed that fast mm-hmm. 
because she was saying that um, it could take much longer than that, depending on where, at multiple locations. And yeah. That. That's interesting. Dang, that was cool. Cool. Well, that was fun. I'm glad we phoned a friend. Yeah. You know, I still lost, um, and she really mis- mis- misled me. <laughs> it's cool. Um, but yeah, uh, that was that was our that was it. Talk. Hopefully you guys learn, I don't know, <laughs> something from that. <laughs> maybe. Random pointless knowledge. <laughs> uh, maybe it'll come up in a brewery trivia. Yeah, you never I, know. You know? Ah. Um, back to this beer, though, uh, before we wrap everything up. This is, once again, Clouds Bro, which is a double IPA. So a dip from... Um, Alpha Acid, our first from Alpha Acid. Um, they are located once again in, I'm forgetting right now, Belmont. That's right, Belmont, mm-hmm. California. Bay Area, California. Yeah, um, very good beer. Um, pretty bitter. Yeah. Uh, but not, I wouldn't say overly. Um, I still really enjoy it. Um, off the nose, I was getting maybe a little pineapple mango. Ben thought he was getting some grapefruit um, on the palate a little bit at first. Yeah. I think the bitterness, as he's let it opened up a little bit, the bitterness has kind of subsided a bit. I'm still definitely there and present. The thing that um, I just kind of realized, too, is usually on these podcasts, um, we still have, like, a good amount left of the... And we've both been kind of yeah. drinking it. So even, it's like, good. even though it's bitter, like, it's still... It's not overly bitter. No, it's no, 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 no. It's, it's not... Good. Yeah, it is. But it's, like, kind of an easy drinker at the same time because the flavors are really good they're mm-hmm. on point yeah so i don't know i just kind of noticed that my glass is looking like pretty empty right now <laughs> that's well, just like not the case um i think that we are going to take our last handful of sips off camera probably mm-hmm. um really just enjoy this the rest of this one of what we have left but um if you don't already uh, go subscribe to our youtube channel and subscribe to our podcast we're on all major platforms follow us on social media instagram facebook twitter at on Facebook and Instagram, it's at Original Brew Collective, and then on Twitter, it is at Brew Original. At Twitter. Brew Original. At, at Original Brew Collective is too long for Twitter. That's mm-hmm. why, if you're wondering. Um, but yeah, go follow, subscribe, comment, um, like, review us, rate us. Um, Let us know if there's any beers you'd like to see please. us review, and we'll try to get our hands yeah, on it. Yeah, and then if we uh, try anything that you are interested in that you think sounds good, uh, you want to get your hands on. Um, it can't hurt to comment and say that you're looking for it because it's someone else who's watching. Yeah, we'll try uh, to help you. Yeah. Help you out, yeah. too. Um, we might be able to get it for you. Um, we'd be happy to do that if we can. Um, there also might be someone, if we've gotten it through a trade, there might be someone who has it that would be interested in trading for something that you already have. So yeah. all, I highly encourage that um, commenting to, to try to get your hands on it because that's how you do trades. That's how I do all my trades. Usually it's through Instagram, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, that's how I've done every single trade, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, um, like I said, I um, hope you enjoyed the episode. hope you got some knowledge out of, out of these random movie questions mm-hmm. that Ben's wife uh, so graciously put together. Mm-hmm. We are going to finish this beer. Um, like I said, go follow, subscribe, like, comment, uh, engage, and uh, have a good rest of your uh, day. Have a good rest of your day. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.